Millions of Americans endured another frigid day without electricity or heat in the aftermath of a deadly winter storm as utility crews raced to restore power before another blast of snow and ice sowed more chaos in places least equipped to deal with it. Nearly 3.4 million customers around the U.S. were still without electricity, and some also lost water service. Texas officials ordered 7 million people, a quarter of the population of the nation's second-largest state, to boil tap water before drinking it following days of record low temperatures that damaged infrastructure and froze pipes. The latest storm front was certain to complicate recovery efforts, especially in states that are unaccustomed to such weather, parts of Texas, Arkansas and the lower Mississippi Valley. There's really no let-up to some of the misery people are feeling across that area, said Bob Orovic, lead forecaster with the National Weather Service. Referring to Texas, the system was forecast to move into the northeast on Thursday. More than 100 million people live in areas covered by some type of winter weather warning, watch or advisory. The Weather Service said, this week's extreme weather has been blamed for the deaths of more than 30 people, some of whom perished while struggling to keep warm inside their homes. In the Houston area, one family succumbed to carbon monoxide from car exhaust in their garage. Another family died while using a fireplace to keep warm. Weather-related outages have been particularly stubborn in Oregon, where some customers have been without power for almost a week.